Well, folks, it is the 30th of November. Just loading another bit of wood on the fire there. Yes, it's, uh, it's cold out there and the snow is falling a little bit. Anyway, welcome, 30th of November, 2021. I'm here in the studio and uh, just basically just getting ready for a firing. So I'm just sort of thinking about the bottom shelf of the kiln, what we're going to put there, some of these pots here, um, some tea bowls, I have a teapot here, actually this is a, a bisque fired teapot. So that's been hanging around here for at least a couple of years. So time to get that one fired. Uh, these are some, some tankards here which are in process of being glazed. These are raw glaze, so we glaze the inside first and then we glaze the outside. So that's those guys. Some little mugs there of Jennifer's. Over here, some more mugs. As you can see, I'm utilizing one of these uh, heating warming trays, which works very well for getting pots dry when you need to get them into the kiln. You may notice here some of these pots have got a bit of um, engraving inlay work around the bottom there in white slip and some in with iron oxide. So we'll look forward to seeing how they how they come out. Can be quite attractive, quite nice. I quite like doing inlay work. Anyway yes. Let's try to get back into the swing of things in here. So just thought I'd bring you in on something I'm doing at the minute over here, and that is uh, these these tea bowls over there that I'm glazing. So, do you? I just wondered, do you ever have a problem? I think we all do when you're dipping a pot, like for example these are glazed on the inside. Now I just want to dip them down just a little bit on the outside. It's quite difficult when you're dipping them in to know how to get a straight line. Do you know what I mean? To get it straight, the glaze. And sometimes when we, when we do that, I mean this one I did earlier, and um, I, uh, I did sponge it a little bit because I, I didn't get it quite straight. This one I did a better job. You can see there's a nice clean straight line there where the the glaze is. So I'm just going to show you a method that you you might like to try. Uh, how to how to dip and get the the level straight. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, Simon? Um, before I do that, I'll just show you some of these little tea bowls here. Some of these I did. Um, these were paddled with a... Somebody sent me a paddle, actually, with a kind of... You know that uh, stuff they make, the bases of chairs? Uh, it's a sort of uh, wicker kind of thing. They, they stuck some of that on a paddle. Um, in the last uh, video I did... I did one of these and I said to you if you remember it didn't come out very well it was this one so I kind of like I highlighted it a little bit where the impression didn't come out very well I kind of carved it out afterwards a bit I figured out actually what I'd done wrong on that one uh, that, this is that rolling that roller uh, this is that is combed with a hair comb and then and then expanded yeah some of these you'll be familiar with of course 
this is the one with the um, the ammo clip thing that I stuck to that paddle um, and then uh, some more of those ones that were with that roller yeah I practiced that a bit and I got a bit better a bit better at doing it this one again some of that wicker and then with my other paddle and the, uh, sort of like done like that and there's one more here which is uh, yeah that one that was slightly bigger so all these now waiting to uh, generally with these ones I dip them just a little bit just over the lip you see uh, there is an exception to that and that's this one which is this is a different kind of this is this is faceted wet faceted not not leather hard faceted you get a slightly different feel to it well this one I've just glazed on the inside like that okay this one is not going to be glazed over the edge all right so okay let's uh, let's try and do a few of these and get them straight and I'm going to share with you how I do that uh, I've been kind of doing a bit of experiment experimentation so one of the thing I'm going to do in this case I'm going to put here a a light there okay that's something you might consider doing if you have a bucket that is uh, white plastic okay the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take a mirror okay and I got a bit of wire attached to it and a piece of clay stuck on the back side of it what on earth are you doing son okay so that's <laughs> okay I'll just show it to you is the easiest way so that's just going to hang over there like that okay so the bit of wire is there just to hold it and you can bend that to adjust so just getting this set up here like that now the piece of clay the piece of clay down there you see sticking out so that what that does it keeps it, it it just gives it a little bit of 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 angle you see otherwise if it didn't have that it w it would be the mirror would be like flat to the side of the bucket so by just inclining it a little bit away it's going to give me a little bit better angle so i can see right so let's uh, let's take another one of one of these uh, faceted ones so we're just going to dip it over the lip there just about where that 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 glaze mark is there where i wiped it off just down to about there and that's it all right okay let's get this camera on a tripod uh, i don't know you know you might find this useful let's move this over here so you can see but um, oh, wait a minute. I've got to get. I've got to. I've got to have some room for myself here. I? <laughs> All right. So just making that adjusting like that. Okay. So. All right. So if you want to take this and dip it down into here like that. It does help having a mirror. You can see better. But there's another thing I've got, another another concoction. Oh my, Simon, you're getting... So I put in two lollipop sticks there like that. Okay. And then I have one of these guys. You know, it's got that little bubble thing in there that moves around. It sort of... Uh, it, it tells you when the bubble is in the middle, it tells you that your level so that goes on there like that and then it allows me to hold it you see like that so now I can dip it down I can see the bubble um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that but let me just move it around a little bit more. okay uh, let's give the glaze a stir actually I'm just going to lift up the mirror while I stir it Otherwise, it's going to get all splashed. Imp 
important to keep your glazes on the move, you know. see if I can get this zoomed in a bit for you. So you can see the mirror there on the right side. You can see the light shining through. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Um, so, now I'm going to use, use the mirror down there so I see from the side and then I'm also going to look here at the bubble on the top. Now you may not be able to see the bubble. I don't worry about that. I'm looking at the bubble. Okay, I'm touching the water. I'm pushing down. I'm looking at the bubble and out. All right. Now then, let's see. <laughs> The moment of truth. Yeah. So I'll be honest. I uh, should have dipped it just a little, a little further, a little deeper. Actually, I wanted to go just a touch deeper. But if you can see that, you can see that for the most part, it's pretty, it's pretty level. Let's do another. You've got to practice these things, you see, they're not going to get it right necessarily first time, are we? Okay, let's, let's just try that again. So, yeah, so ideally I want to go down to about like, to about where my finger light is here. Okay, so. You see, as we're only dipping, really a very short distance down into the glaze. You don't want to have any wateriness on the top of the glaze. You'd be surprised the top of the glaze, the last sort of quarter inch of glaze that you've got, can become watery. So you want to keep that, that glaze on the move. All right, let's just do this. We'll put that there like that and like that. Now somebody will be looking at this and they'll be thinking, hmm, I got a better idea than that. So if you do, please share your brilliant idea. Okay. Now this time I want to go a little deeper. So I'm looking at the bubble and I'm looking in the mirror. Okay, I've made contact with the surface. And now I've got to push down. Pushing down, hold, and out. Okay. The moment of truth. Are we any good? Well, there you go, see? Quite nice and straight, isn't it? Now, you can do it without this, and I've done it, of course, for years without doing it. I've never, I haven't even just thought about doing it like this. Let's do another. But see these lolly lollipop sticks, that's just because that's all I could find that I could use. You might come up with a better idea than that, of course. Alright. So let's taking it down. Now I've got to centralize the bubble. Looking in the mirror. Okay, I've entered the, the glaze. I'm now pushing down. And out. Take that guy off. Generally speaking, I find when I do this, as careful as I try to be, especially when you've got to go down into a bucket like that and you can't really, you're not at eye level, you see, with the, with the glaze, are you? You're not at eye level. So it's difficult to see, hence the mirror. Keep 
that glaze on the move. Let's try this one. Um, actually, I'm thinking. What I'm thinking is, I'm going to just take this this banding wheel. What I'm going to do is. Center that. So I'm just down here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a mark with a pencil. Oh, Simon, you're getting very technical here. We're not sure we like it. <laughs> I know. This is for the technical people among you. See? Okay, so uh, you see, I put a pencil line there. Right, let's get back down in that bucket again. Down in the bucket. So, got to pop sticks. Ooh, bye bye lollipop. You make my heart go giddy up. <laughs> All right, there it is. Now then, holding it. Let us. No, I'm looking now at the, the line, the pencil line, and the bubble. Okay, we've entered the we've entered the glaze. Down to the pencil line, hold and up. Actually, I just I went a little bit past the pencil line. Not bad though, not bad. I've got a bigger one here. Um, quickly do that pencil line thing again. I'm just showing you this. I mean, it's not that I'm. It can it can be a useful it can be a useful let's say trick to add to your toolbox. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing this all the time. Partly because I don't actually mind a certain amount of it. Doesn't we don't have to make everything dead straight, do we? That's the bottom line. So what, Simon, if it's a little bit wonky, the line, well, what does it really matter? Well, it's true. But, at the same time, let's not let sloppiness be an excuse for, you know, we want to, it's all very well to aim at something, completely miss the target, and then justify it, you know what I mean? So, let's... Let's try and hit the target. Okay, there's the line. Uh, let's see how well we can we can do. All right. A couple of stick lollipop sticks. Lollipop, you make my heart go giddy up. Okay, there it is. Right, let's hold that. Let's see now. Looking at the bubble, looking at the bubble, and looking at the the pencil line as well. It's very hard, you see, to... Out he comes. Put that down. Well, pretty good, I would say, actually. I mean, you know, as good as is humanly possible, let's see. Okay. All right, so there you go. That's my tip for the day. Uh, give it a try. You might find that it works for you. Some people, you see, depending on their... Uh, their kind of their makeup 
Some people are a little bit more people who are attention to detail and you know they want to get it they want to get it right. Well this is probably something for those kind of people. I'm not particularly like that actually really in truth but um, for some people you know it's just got to be dead straight they want to get it right so so if you're one of those people uh, this might work for you. A little lump of clay here you see just to keep it away from the side of the bucket. Piece of wire hooked over um, and then uh, now I'm using lollipop sticks but you could use something different it doesn't got to be. It just wants to be something flat that goes across the base of the pot you see. Now if your pot is one such that doesn't have a uh, these ones have got trimmed feet, you see, but let's suppose, in, uh, reaching over here, yours is a pot like that, you know, it's just got a flat foot there. Well, you don't need the lollipop sticks, do you? You can just stick it directly on there like that, you see, and, and dip it. All right. And, and then in this case, yeah, we just have a simple one of these clip-on lights on the side of the bucket. There you go, Bob's your uncle. Hey folks, give it a try if, the, if you think if that grabs you, all right? If it doesn't grab you, okay, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, if, uh, if you're interested in pots or tools, uh, go to my website, simonleachpottery.com and um, yeah, workshops are finished, of course, for this year. Next year, we will be putting up the schedule for next year's workshops on the website. Check that out, you know, in a week or two. Um, and Leech Treadle Wheels, uh, probably be taking orders for another batch of them uh, sometime in the new year, you know, probably for, for, for spring. You know what I'm talking about, one of these wheels over here, you see. Um, one of these guys, if that grabs you, you, want to put your name down for one. We have them made in batches of five, so have a think about that. Wow, it's going to be Christmas, isn't it, in three weeks and a bit. Amazing, it's just like summer's just finished and now we're already just entered some cold weather and it's woo! It's almost Christmas. Okay, I'm going to carry on doing a few more of these. Thanks for joining us, folks. As always, keep practicing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Dee.